Oh, hey there, Miss Target. Let me get uh, two Whoppers, one for me, one for Cisco, and uh, two Diet Cokes, please. $20? Since when do, do two Whoppers cost $20? But do you not see the crowd? I'm a loyal customer. You know what? You want $20? There's your $20. What's going on, Mail Gang? It's Boaz here today, and we have a very interesting option when it comes to the gas powered pump action shotgun world. And today, in front of us, we have the officially licensed by Fab Arms, the Bow Manufacturer STF 12 gas pump action shotgun. So, if you guys don't know, there are two main types of airsoft shotguns on the market today. The first being the most affordable and the most easy to get into will be the spring powered uh, airsoft shotgun which uh, if you pull back the pump on the airsoft shotgun it's going to actuate the spring and then you pull the trigger releasing BBs. Uh, it's a very simple mechanism and it's very again easy and affordable to get into. However if you want to upgrade from that the only other real option out there would be to go with a gas powered shotgun uh, such as this STF-12 which you do uh, pull the pump back in order to load the BBs but there is uh, gas stored inside the shotgun that powers the gun which actually makes it a lot more easy and a lot more fun to shoot. So I'm pretty surprised that uh, Bow Manufacturer went with a company like Fab Arms to uh, make an airsoft version of their shotgun. Personally for me, haven't really seen too many examples of the Fab Arms shotgun out there in the wild or even in like movies or video games. I guess the only real example I can think of is maybe Rainbow Six Siege, I believe. Uh, both of the Spanish operators that were released early on in the game, uh, they do have this type of similar looking shotgun as one of their primary options, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, it's a very unique looking shotgun. Just looking at it just straight out the gate, uh, you have very interesting like angular receivers and like a very angular looking like heat shield on the top. And, uh, and even the pump, it just looks uh, like kind of like oddly ergonomic. I, it, it's very European. Uh, <laughs> if you would ask me just the way that it looks aesthetically just like the uh, the ergonomics of it it just gives me hardcore European vibes I don't know let me know in the comments what you think you can expect to see full metal construction throughout the gun so that includes like the main body receiver uh, the heat shroud the outer barrel and uh, I believe even this top monolithic rail which is actually really nice is also made out of metal but you're gonna get some polymer in this just again for ergonomics and for probably to also replicate what you see on the real STF-12. So you're gonna get a polymer uh, pump over here and you're gonna get a polymer pistol grip and you're gonna get a polymer folding stock. One of the really cool denoting features I really love about the STF-12 is gonna be here front towards the muzzle is gonna be this very unique muzzle device. And I love all these aggressive ports here on the side of the muzzle device, but this is threaded, so it's threaded onto the outer barrel of uh, the shotgun. So if you wanted to change this out with something, I don't know, let's say like an uh, airsoft shotgun tracer unit, that option is available to you. I also like uh, the pump itself. It has a nice Picatinny rail section here on the bottom. So if you want to mount any like foregrips to aggressively rack this thing, you can. Or if you want something more sensible, like a flashlight or a laser device, it's uh, the option is available to you. And again, overall, the polymer pump is super ergonomic. I love the way that they have like these nice thumb shelf cutouts here on the sides so your thumbs can easily rest and take a nice resting position as you pump it and you hold it. And they have this almost like a nice finger stop here too, so it gives you some really good indexing points on it as well. Moving towards the rear of the shotgun, you're gonna get a sling loop on the left-hand side of the gun, and you're gonna get the same left-handed sided uh, sling loop here on the front as well, so it gives you a couple different sling mounting options. And finally, uh, one thing that I really sticks out to me is gonna be just the traditional, I guess you would say like 870 style controls. So you're gonna get your standard thumb safety and you're gonna get this nice enlarged uh, shell ejection door, uh, loading door opening lever thing. 
Moving up towards the top, again, you're gonna notice that the SCF12 is gonna come included with fiber optic sights, which are removable. So uh, they are mounted directly to this huge section of Picatinny, and you're gonna get a nice orange fiber optic front sight with uh, two dotted, and even, I, I believe they also give you a ghost ring as well on the rear sight here with green fiber optics. So even if you wanted to use the ghost ring or you wanted just to do the, the three dot, you can, or if you want just to run an optic and forget about lining up your iron sights, this option is available to you. And honestly, I think it looks absolutely sick if you run some kind of like hollow style sight or some kind of, you know, micro red dot. I think it really completes the look. Uh, with the stock, you're gonna get a pretty nice solid folding stock on this particular model. So uh, in particular, like folding stock, fashion you're gonna have a button here on the left hand side of the gun and then you're gonna fold the stock over and it's up and then you're gonna notice that this little bump here this little thing that protrudes that's actually what retains the folding stock in place so if you wanted to do this for storage or give yourself the option of you know running a really nice chopped airsoft shotgun you know that this is the way to do it from here on out things are gonna get pretty familiar compared to all the other gas pump action shotguns on the market today uh the gas is stored in the pistol grip or i i think it's kind of like this rear section kind of similar to how jag does it with their pistol grip shotguns and if you pull the pump back on the shotgun you're going to notice that they have a very familiar looking switch here on the breech of the shotgun so when this thing pulls back and you hold it back like this you will have an option to switch between a three shot burst and a six shot burst which again follows suit for a lot of popular airsoft shotguns out there like the golden eagles like the jag arms and of course the tokyo marie so looking through the manual here that they include you which is actually a very nice detailed manual uh the unfortunate part is very little of it is written in english so if english is not your primary language uh, good luck but uh, they do include an exploded parts diagram and just looking through all the parts included in this gun it does really strongly remind me of the Tokyo Marie 870 style system which you guys don't know that's kind of like the industry standard when it comes to gas shotguns and airsoft so if that happens to be the case if this is going to be borrowing a lot of parts from the Tokyo Marie 870 design it means that there should be a plethora of aftermarket internal parts that you could use to upgrade this but I mean, it's a gas shotgun, man. Like, it's you're not gonna really need to do it. So, out of the box, you're gonna get three of these airsoft shotgun shells uh, with your STF-12, which, in my opinion, is a little disappointing. I kind of miss the days when airsoft companies would give you more shells out of the box. Uh, I remember at some point, even Jag would give you six of these shells out of the box. From our testing and our attempts at chronoing this thing, it will chrono anywhere between 300 to 310 FPS using green gas and 0.2 gram BBs and it has a rate of fire of, well, how fast is your pump arm, man? Well, that's enough of me yapping about the SCF-12 and come on, this is the part that you, that you tuned in for. Let's, let's go shoot this thing. All right, here we are, folks. We are at the test range with the Bow Manufacturing SDF-12. Absolutely gorgeous over here. Uh, loaded up with green gas as uh, per the manual dictates. And then we got your standard out of the box Bow Manufacturing shell uh, with 0.25 gram BBs. And we're about 20, 25 feet away. You know, like that. It, it's around like the closer CQB distance. And uh, I have this shotgun, I believe, already at the six round burst. Cause when you're closer, you can afford to use more BBs, you know? And also I think it's more ethical cause uh, you actually lose muzzle velocity when you use that many BBs. So let's give a couple shots here. I love how the pump racked. It just feels so solid. Yeah, very little like like uh, wonky, like wobble or play. Uh, when you, it, it just pulls straight back. And uh, yeah, I, I really, really like that. So uh, you know what? I just want to just show you, this is a Tokyo Marie brand shell here. Uh, just to show you that it is compatible and it works. Yeah, really great spread. I mean, you don't, I don't even need to aim with this thing this close because it spreads so much. Because uh, at least one BB is going to hit him, right? And uh, let me tell you, like, if you're worried about them calling it, oh, they're going to call it. Okay, so now we are now around like 50 feet. So this is kind of, I think, in my opinion, is kind of the sweet spot of where you want with a gas shotgun. Because uh, keep in mind, uh, these gas pump shotguns do not have an adjustable hop up. They're fixed, which is why we're running 0.25 gram BBs, even though I want to run heavier. It's just not optimal. And uh, at this distance, I'm going to switch to the three round burst setting 
just to give you more range and more muzzle velocity, more oomph to carry the BB through. And I just loaded up a Jag shell, again, to prove you how uh, compatible these shotguns are. I, honestly, it, I, th I honestly think it's a Tokyo Marie 870, but you know, that's just my hunch. Here we go. All right, the first shot was a six round burst. Three round burst. Oh, it's spreading beautifully at this distance. Yeah, at least, at least one BB is hitting the target. Oh, now I'm getting three round hits. Yeah, but uh, the benefit of that is you get a lot more pumps with it, you know, because you are conserving ammo per shot. The BBs are still flying beautifully. I think we can go farther. Let's try that out. Okay, we, now we step back to around 80 feet. In my opinion, for most gas shotguns, this is kind of the limit. This is kind of where you want to, uh, I guess, engage the maximum engagement distance to effectively shoot other players on the field. Uh, so we have, again, 0.25 gram BBs, fixed top up, three on burst. Uh, with the out-of-the-box shell. Now let's just see what happens. Oh, almost got him. Yeah, I mean that, oh, yeah, I hit the target. Oh, triple round hit, let's go. So now I'm, I'm aiming a little bit more, taking some more aim shots, but, you know, if that was a man-sized target, that was like a five foot eight, man-sized target i mean i'm hitting his legs you know like i'm aiming for center mass but i'm you know like if, if it was an actual dude i'd be hitting his legs i mean the bbs are still flying out there you know what maybe this can go back a little farther okay so now we backed out to around like 100 to 110 feet uh this is pretty impressive for a fixed hop-up gas shotgun I'm, I'm just being honest i've shot a lot of uh gas shotguns like even uh, like the higher quality replicas, like the Jag arms, usually they tend to putter out around this distance. So we're just gonna put it to the test. Uh, got a Jag shell, same again, 0.25 gram BBs. I will say though, I did add a little bit more green gas. I topped it off just to see what it will do in an ideal condition. But as far as gas efficiency goes, I mean, this thing was still going strong after what, like four or five shells? Yeah, so no problems there. But let's just see what happens here. I'm just gonna brace against this and just see what we get. Okay, yeah, so starting to get affected by the wind. The spread is too far. Yeah, I'm not, there is a headwind. I'm trying to lob the bees a little bit more. Yeah, I don't think I'm hitting him. But if I lob it slightly, it'll get out there. So I guess you would say like, if you have like a moving target, let's say, like if you're, uh, if there's like people ducking in and out of cover, maybe there's a group of guys that you just want to engage. Uh, I think this will be an effective like crowd control uh, airsoft gun. Uh, just something to keep in mind. But yeah, that's 100 feet. This is not what uh, the STF-12 was designed for, any gas pump shotgun for that matter. So it is pretty impressive to see that theoretically, if you tried, you can get it out there. Coming back from our shooting test, the FabArm STF-12, just like all the other gas powered shotguns that we have shot on this channel, extremely fun to shoot. It's just, uh, it's kind of a vibe that you don't really get from, let's say like a traditional AUG. And is it the most practical thing, the most functional thing? Probably not. Like if you pick something like this up, you can't really hope to uh, outperform or outshoot, let's say a high end AUG, but it really excels in very specific environments. Let's say like an indoor CQB field, or if you're in an outdoor field that has a lot of buildings, uh, shooting this many BBs at once in those tight spaces, absolutely terrifying. And again, that's what these gas power shotguns are built to do is just to excel in close quarters. I'd say uh, just carrying this thing around uh, for a while, I would say that the ergonomics are really nice. Like I love the way it almost feels like your hands are kind of melting into the gun. Uh, just how ergonomic this thing is. It's very nice and hefty. It feels like I'm bringing well, it almost feels like, you know, you're, you're, you're bringing a heavy hitting airsoft gun and onto the field. So, uh, there's that psychological factor and, uh, aesthetically, I think it looks absolutely killer. It looks nothing like all the other pump action shotguns on the market. Cause majority of the time, they're just going to be different versions of the Remington 870, which is not a bad thing, but, uh, the SCF 12, it just looks that much more unique, you know? So if you bring something like this on the airsoft field, people will be looking at you and people will be wondering what kind of cool future space shotgun you're running. So let's say you're considering into expanding your airsoft niche into gas powered shotguns and you're like, hey Boaz, this is pretty sick. I love this space gun aesthetic of the FabArm STF-12. How much does it cost? 
Well, as of right now, airsoftgi.com, the FabArm STF-12 gas-powered shotgun uh, in all different colorways retails for $277. And make sure to take advantage of the Wombo Combo for free automatic shipping and reward store credit. Yeah, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting a near $300 price tag on the STF-12. I mean, there's other gas pump action shotguns out there that cost half as much and they pretty much functionally do the same thing. However, I will say that the STF-12, when you pick it up and you use it, like the build quality is noticeably better than some of the more affordable gas shotguns out there. A lot of times if you buy cheaper gas shotguns, uh, there's a lot of play. There's a lot of like wiggle in the shotgun. The STF-12 doesn't really have any of that. Uh, it, it does feel very solid in the hands, so maybe build quality and then maybe even long-term reliability You're gonna get more out of it because again, it's more expensive But at the end of the day if you want something unique if you want to stand out You know if you want to have the drip on the airsoft field, you're gonna have to pay for it Heavy lies the crown Thank you guys so much for sticking around and checking out our overview of the Fab Arms uh, STF-12 gas pump shotgun. Please let me know what you think about uh, the Fab Arms line of gas shotguns uh, in the comments below. And yes, we know you're going to say it's overpriced. Yeah, it's, it's very expensive. But uh, I think for me, the, the major key thing that I want to see in Airsoft is I just want to see someone, Tokyo Murray, please, somebody, come up with a well-designed semi-automatic shell-powered gas shotgun. Having uh, the pump is cool, but I just want the rate of fire of a semi three round, six round burst shotgun that uses these traditional shotgun shells. But you know, a man can only dream. But if you like the content that you're seeing and if you uh, want to see more of it, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and to like the video and ring that bell icon to get notified of every time we upload a new video. And if you uh, want to support us directly, if you want to keep these lights on, that camera rolling, you want to see more of this content, please make sure to head on over to Airsoft GI where we have the FabArm STF-12 and of course a lot of other Airsoft goodies out there for you to check out. So my name is Boaz and we'll see you next time, Mail Gang.